We are going to go through the calculations for the weak acid post-lab. You might be wondering, well, why are we doing this? Usually, you're going to see all this in past quarters with a TA in discussion. But what we want to do is save that space for discussion to go over lecture materials. So that's why these videos are created, so that you don't have to use this time in discussion to see all these calculations. You can watch these videos and follow along and know how to do the post-lab. Uh, if you prefer, you can always do your calculations ahead of time and see if you can figure out then. That would be advantageous to you. And then watch the video second to see if uh, the, what you're doing matches with what we're recommending. This is the weak acid titration post-lab tutorial. And first we're going to run through the sample data and then we'll run through the calculations so you can see how a sample calculation would go through. Make sure you write down some of these data so when we go through the sample calculation, you'll know where these numbers come from. So what you'll need is the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. This is from the last lab. And make sure that's the average from the last lab. Uh, you'll need the endpoint volume of the sodium hydroxide. I put a star here. This is one that you can get from the graphing tutorial that was made. Uh, and that's a file that you can get from your TA. And so this is the endpoint volume when you reach the volume for the sodium hydroxide. The volume for the acetic acid used, this is from the burette that has the acetic acid and this would just be the final minus initial. It should be around 15 milliliters. Then you have the average initial pH. This is measured. So you should measure the initial pH when you're starting. It's acidic because you're working with the acid. And then you'll see the next two are star. These two also will come from the tutorial. The, if you don't know where to get them, the tutorial can help you. So this is the average midpoint pH, which you'll need to know in order to do these calculations. And then the equivalence points pH.